Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Wow. I, wow. Let's go, Friars. Let's go, Friars. Let's go, Friars. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, the one thing I can do. Honest to God, I've been recruiting all week, and I am exhausted. So the one thing I don't want to do is try to speak above you, and I know the cocktails are great. I do. The libations are great. The fellowship is unbelievable. But I want to just share a couple of minutes with you, because I know I stand between you and one of the greatest presidents of a college institution ever, and Brian Shanley. I want to thank our co-chairs. That is a task that not many people understand, the work that goes behind it. So I want to give them a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Brum, I remember coming here, and, and you said Providence is a special place, and you lied. It's an unbelievable place. And I want to thank you for all the generosity and everything you've done for us here at Providence College. Thank you. I wish my beautiful bride was here with me tonight. I am married to the most gorgeous, unbelievably great friend, and she's not here with us tonight. She's home trying to move us back into our home. This was an unbelievable year, from weight loss to my home catching on fire. But you know what? If we could win a Big East championship, and I hope our insurance agent isn't here tonight, my home may burn down next year. <laughs> All right? You guys understand that? Tonight, we talk about heart and soul. And the heart and soul in this room and your generosity, you are the heart and soul of Providence College and what we're about to do tonight. I want to break a record tonight. And I want to start this off. Narice and I have a dear, dear space in our heart for the Angel Fund that allows men and women who have gone through a tough time to remain at Providence College. Father Shanley, Narice wants to give you $10,000. And she wants to say thank you. All right, so on behalf of Norris, we want to make sure that we put that out there. When you talk about selflessness and you talk about generosity, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to help young men and women, and you're going to change their lives. It's not easy. All of us struggle. We all have our tough times. But what you're about to do tonight as you set this record, as you give back, there's nothing like giving back. And I want to take you guys back when I was 9 or 10 years old. I remember walking the streets of Providence. I remember always dreaming about going to Providence College. I wasn't a good athlete. Actually, I sucked. <laughs> All right? But I always dreamed about being there. And this family that took me in, this snot-nosed, fat, non-athletic kid was brought into a home, and that's what taught me about generosity and giving back. If it wasn't for that family, ladies and gentlemen, I wouldn't be standing in front of you today. So as we talk about giving back, I want you to think about the lives and the people that you're about to change and you really don't know who they are. But when they come up to you years later and they tell you thank you, understand where it comes from. It comes from their heart because those young men and women are me. I'm saying thank you for those young men and women that you're about to help. And, uh, tough times, but you know what? When you give, you get. When you give, you get more. I never, ever thought three years ago, but I dreamed about it. Everybody says, why are you going to Providence College? I said, it's the greatest place that God's ever touched, because I believe in it, absolutely. <laughs> and I know Bob Driscoll, who's, who's my boss and our athletic director and has done an unbelievable job. He says, Ed, don't put so much pressure on you talking about championships. And I said, Bob, if you don't dream it, if you can't feel it, if you don't, if, I, I just believe. I don't care about pressure. Pressure to me was trying to eat. Pressure to me was what was trying to fit in. Winning basketball games and losing basketball, I came here to win championships. 
You know what I mean? That's what it's about. That's what it's about. And yes, as much as I love winning Big East championships, I want to win national championships. That's what it's about. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we've won a national championship in this room. You're going to help a young man or woman win a national championship in their education. So I beg you guys, give what you can. We know why we're here. Let's set a record tonight. Let's give all we can. You are the heart and soul of what's going to happen tonight. Before I leave, I want to say thank you. Thank you for everything you've done to make the dunk one of the toughest places in the world to play. Thank you for coming to Madison Square Garden and making that the Dunkin' Donuts Center. Thank you for everything you're about to do tonight. I appreciate you all so much. I want to bring up Brian Shanley, who hired me, and I thank you for bringing me home to a place that I love that I'll never leave. Thank you.